Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. We're gonna start a series today on keyboard shortcuts, something that you really should be using to improve the speed and efficiency of your particular workflow. There are keyboard shortcuts that are built into Capture One initially, but a lot of functionality could have keyboard shortcuts, but does not. So let's take a look at editing that. We're gonna to come to edit, edit keyboard shortcuts and there are three options. There's shortcut keys, speed edit keys, and custom shortcuts. Over the course of a few videos we're going to take a look at all of these, but let's take a look at shortcut keys which is similar to things you might have used in other editing programs. So for instance if I wanted to reset an image right out of the gate I could press the command or control button and R and it would reset the image. But anything here that has a space next to it with nothing typed into it could have a keyboard shortcut, but it does not. So we could go through any of these particular drop down menus to find functionalities within Capture One that we might want to have as a keyboard shortcut. For instance, if we're tethering and we want to capture an image, we could hit Command K. But let's go ahead and add in something that's not built into Capture One that you might have experienced in other programs. For instance, you might want to use color tagging in a lot of your workflow. And you might have noticed that if you've come from other softwares, that color tagging is something that is built in as a keyboard shortcut, but it's not in Capture One. I could come to the Adjustments dropdown, Color Tag, open it up, and you'll see that I have actually added this in. If I want to color tag something as red, I press 6 on my keyboard. Orange is 7, yellow is 8, green is 9. I can just highlight one of these, hit an X right there, and type in whatever I want it to be in order to uh, change that keyboard shortcut. So once I have done that, if I have a particular image like this, I could just press 6, 7, 8, and 9 on my keyboard in order to color tag it the way I want. And you can do this with any functionality listed in that drop down menu. All right, I hope this is a helpful start for you. Get started building some keyboard shortcuts, and I'll see you next time.